Okay, so today I'm replacing the tie rod ends on my 1993 Dodge W250. So I know there's a lot of videos out there on how to do this already, um, but I've run into this issue on the tie rod bar itself. Uh, this is for the W250. I have my replacement tie rods, which screw in the end here. Uh, but the issue that I ran into was this is the original uh, sleeve clamp here. And you can see on the back side here, there's this slit. And what it's designed to do is after you screw in your tie rod end, uh, the clamp will close off and sort of pinch uh, the end of the bar here around the threads to stop the bar from rotating and throwing your wheels out of alignment. So what happened was uh, this is the one that was on the vehicle already, the clamp, and I was a dum-dum and it wasn't coming off the bar and I assumed that you could just find these fairly easily because it's not that complicated of a part so I ended up grinding a groove in the end of it to try and get it off the bar. Then I realized I couldn't find replacement ones after I'd done that and so for the last month or so or a few weeks I have been trying to find replacements. We've noticed that the only thing that's made specifically for the first gens are um, the in for the independent front suspension. So it's a, a sleeve set up like this uh, with two clamps on each one um, except the sleeve is I believe an inch diameter and this bar is an inch and a quarter so the clamps on those obviously didn't fit and we tried various other um, parts and stuff but it was really difficult to find the right size our local Lord Co uh, looked up the part he said that this is for um, a 1994 to 1997 Dodge truck um, three-quarter ton so second gen but it's an inch and a quarter diameter and these sleeves here actually fit. I'll show you the part number here. So the part number is Moog ES2012S made in China. You only need to buy one of these because it comes with two sleeves on it. This whole part here was about 45 bucks uh, but the sleeves here fit the bar perfectly. So given the fact that there are already a bunch of videos on how to install your tie rods uh, I won't bother showing the installation. Uh, I just wanted to put that out there that there are clamps available. Um, you just need to find second gen ones. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Cheers.